This is the songbird. <clears throat> this is a thing going on here. This is the good witch. You see that? That is windows, right? It's an icon. And here's the thing. I was looking through this little menu here to find out some information. And it brought me to a photo that I took of the sky last month. There's a window. The photo is pointing. I mean, I pointed the camera up, you know, above my head. And um, with my eyes closed, I take pictures of the sky near the sun, light. And there's a window. A window with sunlight shining through in the sky in the picture so i show that picture to someone i say two weeks ago and what they said to me was oh that's the windows it's windows you know i said um we don't have windows like that in this apartment around the apartment uh next door um and first of all if it was a window reflection from uh next door or uh anywhere near me uh, behind me or it wouldn't make sense that you can't see the rest of the house not any of it just the window with the sunlight shining through sideways like that because actually you know, I, I turn the camera, different angles, when I'm taking pictures of the sky, <laughs> and bang, I say right about there, there's a picture of a window. Now, this would be the camera straight up and down, all right? And this is the camera sideways, right? In the picture, the windows are this way with the camera sideways now I'm holding the camera straight up and down again and those windows are sideways but like I said I was holding the camera straight up and down I do do different angles but never sideways not I will say never almost never not when it comes to the sky and the windows are in the picture see i want to put the photo at the end of this little short show of the good witch and i would say all right so now that i'm looking at this i see what the other person saw when you know they said no windows you know from the computers and i'm looking at my computer and i'm like i don't see any windows on here well there is on this button but it doesn't look exactly like that uh, like the picture I had in the sky, it's just four little dots. It doesn't look anything like that. You see? So, basically, <laughs> I didn't understand what they were saying, the language they were speaking, and, you know, they became, you know, whatever. Just, you know, shut me down a little bit because I'm like, I can't see it. I don't understand. There's no windows like that in here. No such thing. Okay. Going on and on about it. And it does signify the future. Number one, it signified this day. This day that I would understand that that is a picture of the computer uh, program called Windows. But what was it doing in the sky? <laughs> Why was it in the sky? I mean, not with the naked eye, it couldn't be seen. But you see, camera tells all. You can't hide from the, cam the camera. You see, you can't hide anything from the camera. Nothing. <laughs> Boy, the camera catches so many things like, you know, way back in the beginning when people, when they first made the cameras, there were stories about people thinking that the camera could extract even the soul. <laughs> you know, the camera is amazing. Some people wouldn't, didn't allow uh, picture taking. They wouldn't. Uh, my own grandmother told me this, <laughs> you know, because uh, she remembered, you know, a lot of people would not even let you take a picture of them with that camera, 
<laughs> because look what it, it captures things that your eyes will never ever see okay so what does it mean about this day was the the, the um the picture that i'm gonna put at the end of this video that i took of the sky and i find it inside of all my thousands of pictures in the in this laptop so it's uh it signifies number one that we are in the computer age and again but how did that get in the sky um, but it also signifies the day that i would understand that that was a computer icon and maybe something really unique is going to happen on this day maybe something big so gigantically deep is going to happen in this from this day uh, for a certain time period it could be months weeks or years you know of a time period of from this day counting from this day of the computer age that we're in something fantastic is going to happen concerning windows computers laptops you know held uh phones with internet something really big is going to happen and maybe i might get a little bit of glance another glance of it i already understood that the picture was a photo of the future um not the future of you know we've already had computers for a long time but just from this day from this day that i totally understand that it was a windows icon and not a reflection from one of the buildings over here um windows but i looked at the windows over the there's there's a building over the fence uh which whoever's been looking at my shows and my pictures um in the videos show pictures of the sky i mean some of them are not drawn on or some of them i haven't uh, added my little artistic twist to some of them are just natural pictures and you can see uh buildings around me surrounding me and houses and none of those houses or buildings surrounding me in the backyard where i take my pictures because i'm covid safe um have those kind of windows and but just now looking at this computer i see it exact not the computer because you see that that doesn't look anything like what was on that screen on the computer screen uh, the advertisement and the information of to teach you about windows <laughs> something big is going to happen from this day on something really big of course something really big is always happening uh year after year uh here and in between but sometimes there's something more unique uh special and unique something deep something significant in this time is about to happen starting today 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 so just keep thinking positive as positive as possible and remember you don't have to be the good witch to actually manifest things to happen you have to really try as hard as life is some of the time you know you have to really try to think really positive like you know people a few people got murdered around here uh since i've been here and some would say well move <laughs> um and it's not easy to find another place to move you just have to think positive as possible you know when i go out the door i'm thinking about uh yeah i do uh look behind me once in a while i might turn around uh my head and just just to make sure to glance back behind my back if i 
walk a certain way over here to get to the store. Uh, but most of all, then I catch myself each time and tell myself that there's something bigger than me that made all the planets that will protect me. And I believe that because, you know, nobody can tell me that all this stuff just got here all on its own. <laughs> I don't believe that. And um, as you see with the picture that I captured, the eye in the sky, the eye that was so big is so big. It's bigger than the sun and it seemed to be giving light to the sun. <laughs> Um, so basically, like I said before, the sun, I realize now, is uh, very important. It gives more than heat and light. It is the kind of light that when you look up, it blinds you, so you miss out on what's up there because uh, you can't keep your eyes open uh, from the brightness of the light is so bright. But that camera I captured, cap, captured the eye, the windows in the sky, because why the camera lens can, can look up there, but we can't. And I realized the sun is so important. That sun brings light. Not that it's just so bright, but it's so bright that It shows what's really up there that the eyes really just can't see. Um, the, I mean, it's a big light. When we, when you're in the house and you know your way around in the dark in your own place, no matter how big or how small it is, you know where every piece of furniture is so you don't bump yourself when you're walking around in, in your surroundings in the dark. But of course, if one little thing you probably knew that you left on the table and you went in there in the dark and you could feel around for, for it because you kind of knew exactly what spot you left that cup in or whatever it was on the table in the dark, you, you know, when you didn't want to turn on the light, you just knew where it was, whatever. And then, but if you turn on the light, it's faster to find it, right? Faster to see it, not just uh, know that it's there, you know, like. We know that something made this big, big place. <clears throat> and I mean this big place, I mean bigger than home here. <laughs> you know? Um, but you can feel it, but you can't see it. But this camera captured that eye in the sky past that big, 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 gigantic sunlight. <laughs> that our eyes can't handle on their own. And you know, if we could look up and see what this, this camera lens could see, I think, and I believe that, people would be so different if they could just look up, if their eyes could handle it past that bright, bright light, right? You know, and see so many amazing things that we would all become so united, so much love and no hate, because we would see it, that there's so something really bigger than, than just us and all of our petty little feelings. Yes, I said petty, petty little feelings compared to what is gigantically around us. Yeah, it's petty. <laughs> It would just bring us into so much of, I, I can't find the words, <laughs> so big and uh, so gigantic. And also, my camera is catching something else, which um, I did mention before about a dream that I had um, way back after my kids were almost murdered while I was trying to go to school and I was at school trying to get an education to to uh, live good um, get the right job whatever to live really good along with my kids anyhow 
The dream was of a big bird. So huge. That it covered one whole side of the sky. So big. You can only see his head and down to his neck. You couldn't see what was past his neck. So huge. So big. Gigantic. Uh -huh. It's funny because in some of those pictures I'm seeing uh, wings. Huge wings and the bird face. And this has been a couple of months that my camera has been capturing a bird eyes and the, the front of his face, his beak. Uh, it looks like on the sides there's wings I'm capturing with my camera. And if you don't believe it, just go outside and point your camera towards the sky, uh, towards the sunlight side of the sky, sunlight, please. Not just the regular parts, but towards the sunlight. And close your eyes and take a few pictures. Take at least, um, when I take the pictures, the photos of the sky, uh, for some reason I always stop at number 73. Not on purpose, because I don't count. I just click it really fast with my eyes closed. And every time I upload my photos from my phone into my laptop, it shows 73 new pictures, 73 new photos, 77 new photos is the most. Always the same. But to say that is to tell you that when you do it, uh, you won't capture anything with just one little photo, no. Um, out of the 73 through 77 photos I take at once each time without counting, three or four photos will have something so incredible. <laughs> like the hand that I captured uh, three out of 77 pictures have the hand that's so, it was so far away because it just looked like a dot in the sky to me. Like, you know, when you look up and you think you're looking at stars, which we all, now we know they're not all stars. <laughs> but I, I didn't know if it was a star or not. It was glowing towards that way and I took a picture of it. I saw a big glow, very large, gigantic glow. It was very bright, I should say, in the darkness. It was so bright, I had to take a picture of it. And out of 77 pictures, three of those pictures have the hand, a hand, a hand bigger than uh, whatever that is up there that was glowing. It was glowing also in the pictures. If you've seen uh, some of my videos have the hand like Magnum Opus, one of the, the Magnum Opus uh, song that my son made up. Um, the hand is holding the glowing stone. That photo only looked like a dot. From the naked eye, it just looked like a little dot in the sky in the dark, a bright one. And in the photo, it just looked like a little dot when it was in my, when I uploaded it to my computer. But I up, I enlarged it, I magnified it with my computer to see the star that I thought was, might be a star um, clearer than just a dot. And lo and behold, there was a hand. There is a hand holding that bright stone and even the hand itself which was the same color as the night sky but looked like an x-ray sort of is the best I could des describe it or you just have to watch my video 
called Magnum Opus to see to see to see the hand at the end of uh, the, the video the real hand holding the real glowing rock in the sky which is above our um, I'm sure that wasn't inside of our atmosphere that's above us but yet it shows on camera that's how gigantic it is right Gigantic, gigantic. Mm -hmm. This is the good witch. And soon we're going to find out. Peace, love, and light.